Hello children, this is the short story of Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. Once upon a time, a boy named Aladdin lived far, far away in the east. He lived with his mother and supported her by selling fruits in the market. One day, the palace magician came to the market looking for him. Come with me, Aladdin. I have something to show you. He went with him. The magician led him deep into the desert. They reached the mouth of an immense cave blocked by a massive rock. The magician stopped and began to say a spell. The rock moved. Aladdin was so shocked. Go into the cave and bring me golden lamp you find there. Touch nothing but the lamp, the magician said. He was so frightened because the passage into the cave was dark. The magician gave his ring and said, It will protect you if anything goes wrong, the magician said. The cave overflowed with glittering gems and golden coins. This must be it. Aladdin at last saw the lamp. But why should he want something so old and worthless? He wondered. The moment Aladdin snatched the treasure, the whole cave began to shake with a thunderous booming sound. He took the magic lamp and ran towards the mouth of the cave. He asked the magician for help, but he just wanted the lamp and told him to throw it. The way for entry and exit was now closed. He was left all alone in the dark, terrified. It's so dark and cold in here. I want to go home to my mother, he cried. He rubbed the gemstone on the ring that the magician gave him and suddenly it began to glow. The bright light was gone away and carried him home. Stunned as he looked at the ring and saw that the gemstone had vanished. Aladdin told his mother all about his adventure in the cave and about the magician. Mom, take a look at the magic lamp, he said. His mom rubbed it and suddenly something new. Incredible happened. A genie appeared and asked him for a wish. He was frightened but was excited that the genie could grant him a wish. He commanded him to get some delicious food as same as the palace. Within moments, a table loaded with tasty dishes appeared before him. The genie's magic made Aladdin very wealthy. One day, he came to the Sultan with his magnificent gifts and treasures. Your Majesty, I have come to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. The Sultan was very pleased, but the princess was unimpressed by his treasures. He was disappointed and did not give, want to give up on the beautiful princess. He asked the genie to help him and then the genie created a magic carpet. The magician who was watching him across the room realized that he had the magic lamp. Turning to the Sultan, he told him to order Aladdin to raise a new palace as he took the princess on the ride through the sky on his magic carpet and they had a wonderful time. Touched by his kindness and the beauty that he had showed her, the princess decided to open her heart to him. As soon as he returned from his magic carpet ride with the princess, the Sultan ordered him to build a palace. Aladdin rubbed the magic lamp and asked the genie if he could build a palace for him. Genie agreed and in some minutes he made a beautiful palace for his master. Aladdin was now able to marry the princess. However, the magician was all jealous. One day, the magician came to visit Aladdin's palace when Aladdin himself was out hunting. He disguised himself as a merchant and he said, I buy old lamps. I can exchange an old lamp with a new one, the magician said. The princess exchanged the magic lamp with a new one. The magician's evil plan worked perfectly. Now that he had the lamp, he wanted to use it to take the princess and Aladdin's palace for himself. He commanded Genie to take Aladdin's palace and move it to a far-off desert along with the princess. When Aladdin returned home, he was shocked to see that everything had vanished. Aladdin searched far and wide for the princess. Finally, he heard that the magician was now living in the desert. Aladdin and the princess secretly slipped 
a sleeping pill into the magician's wine. Aladdin snatched the magic lamp from his belt and dropped it. He ordered the genie to move the palace back to where it was. One day, Aladdin brought the magic lamp to the seashore and rubbed it. The genie asked Aladdin about his wish. Aladdin said, You have granted so many of my wishes. I want to repay you by letting you free. Of all my many, many masters, not one has ever wished something for me. You are so kind, genie cried. Finally, there was a happy ending to the story.